this is the AOS IP ROM on Redmi Note 5 Pro. I hope you can see the out space on the wallpaper because this is the default wallpaper over here. Okay, so what's going on guys? This is Tito back with another custom ROM review video. So let me make it happen. I will start this video with the bugs because I just found two. First one, sometimes when you pull down the notification panel once, you will see it halfway. It doesn't happen all the time though. Let me show you again. As you can see, if you swipe down again, the quick toggles appears totally normal, but it's a very small little nitpicky thing which you can fix by just rebooting the device. Bug number two, the internet speed meter app, which I use to monitor internet speed or my internet usage, which shows the stats on the status bar, is actually not working at all. It simply doesn't show anything on the status bar and sometimes it does force stop. So this might be a compatibility issue or something like that. Now let me show you that the long pressing of the power button toggles the torch. So yeah, that feature is there. And there are a hell lot of ways to double tap to sleep and wake as well is present in this ROM. Here is a demo of double tap to wake. Double tapping on the home screen does lock the screen. Double tap to sleep on the status bar is there. And double tapping on the blank area of the nav bar too makes the phone go to sleep. Now let me quickly show you the launcher settings. This is a modified pixel launcher which is present by default here. Inside home screen, we have Google Now panel and you can customize the app column and row numbers. From app drawer, you can disable app suggestions if you don't like it and the top search bar is actually on the bottom. And from the app icons, you can enable notification dots and change icon pack and shape if you want that. Nothing important in MISC. Well now, let me show you the about section quickly. On top, we have the AOS IP logo and this is the 9th July 2018 build which is the latest one as of now, running on top of Android 8.1 Oreo and security patch is of 5th July which is latest. Here is the stock kernel name and build number for you and we have an update checker option over here. One really good thing about this ROM is banking apps like Google Tease works right out of the box so you don't even have to flash magisk. Now let me open up a few apps and show you the app open up speeds and RAM management of this ROM. The Play Store took a while to load from memory, otherwise the RAM management is fine, all of the apps stayed in memory. One thing to note here, all the apps does take advantage of the full 18-9 display natively, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you go to Recents and you can just tap on the app icon or the name. You get two options to go to the app's info and killing the app fully. And of course normally you have the app lock option to keep it in memory and option to delete it from recents. The vault icon says wallet, I don't know for what reason but I tried to google it I found nothing about wallet. If you guys know about this let me know in the comments down below but gotta say the icon looks cool and different. The stock camera over here is snapdragon camera app. And let me take a normal picture and show you with the rear camera. And let me take another one with HDR. And this is how the picture looks like. The front camera does support full 20 megapixels so you don't have to worry about selfies. And if you want portrait mode, well there is an option to enable camera to API from settings, system and advanced. I haven't tested it yet so if you wanna see a video regarding this let me know in the comments down below. So let's move on to display settings now. Night light or night mode is working fine and let me show you the quick toggles quickly. You can add more stuff from here. These are the extra quick toggles, have a look if you are into that. You can add or remove toggles by just one tapping. We have double tap to wake which I showed you already. I disabled wake on plug. And you can set the background color to light, dark or black AF. And we have these many accent color options. 
ambient display is working fine here is a demo now let me show you the customizations of this rom everything is present inside owl's nest first of all we have status bar from here you can customize battery percentage position the battery styles and this show large icon toggle makes every icon of battery even the portrait battery icon larger next we have carrier level after that we have clock and date customizations here we have the status bar icons from here you can enable icons like headset bluetooth 4g etc next we have the option to show aos ip icon on the status bar and as my internet speed meter app isn't working so i'm using the default speed monitor of this rom moving on to quick settings you can adjust the transparency of it as you can see i just did that we have the toggle animation option like rotate and flip and we do have quick pull down here moving on to notifications you have some notification led customizations here heads up is there and some other notification customizations we do have notification ticker up here too here we have the software buttons and you can literally customize the scaling heck even each button you can customize of the smart bar i did customize the recent button long press to take a screenshot as you can see now one thing to note here i couldn't find any navigation head gestures option in this rom yet so it might be added in the future with software updates but it's not present as of now which is really sad in hardware buttons we have advanced reboot option which does work fine as you can see from here you can directly boot into recovery or fast boot and we have some volume related customizations too from recent yes you can change the looks of recent apps panel let me change it to grid and you can even change it to android go and let me show you this as you can see the grid style recent work super fine and we have the pr all button too of course you can customize the position of it i don't see an option for memory bar here though in lock screen we do have stuff like face auto unlock which is working fine so you don't have to worry and even lock screen charging info is there and shows stats while charging the phone so no problems there in gestures we have the three finger screenshot gesture brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar double tap to sleep option is present for the lock screen and the status bar as well but sadly again no edge gestures in advanced we have some more customizations like in call vibration and some more stuff have a look if you are into that and while the phone is in landscape mode it shows single row for the quick toggles so that's that the home button does have google pixel like animation and google assistant does work flawlessly up here and as you can see the first bug i mentioned in this video gets fixed right after a reboot so here is a proof and here is a demo of me playing pubg in this rom have a look if you are into gaming and if you want to see the gaming performance of this rom in the meantime here are the n2 to n geekbench scores for you and the battery life well here are some screenshots about the battery life i have been getting I have to say battery life is amazingly good over here and i managed to get around 6 plus hours of screen on time with about 40% juice left which is more than enough for daily driving i guess and the rom is super stable for me at least and while gaming i didn't face any issues no stutters no frame drops so this rom gets a huge thumbs up from me if you guys think the same way don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up too subscribe if you have not yet thank you so much for watching guys this is tito from kdindex signing off for today and i'll catch you guys later